Welcome to the Very Airy Library. Oh, wow. It's awesome. And it flies? Hey, what is this place? You're <laughs> Welcome, Jamie Human. Oh, my. I think we're ready to go. Dropping Anchor. Hello, fellow story explorers. We just landed in Jacksonville, Florida, and we're gonna visit a young author by the name of Riley Selzo. And this is his book, The New Bird, professionally illustrated by Michael K. Foster. Oh, I think he's here. Hey, what's up, Riley? Hey, Stan, how are you? Doing good, man, come on in. Welcome to the Very Airy Library. Oh, this is awesome. And I'm glad you like it. Riley, my friends and I are so excited to have you here today. Can you tell our fellow story explorers out there a little bit about yourself? So my name's Riley. Uh, I'm in 10th grade and I'm 15 years old. And in my free time, I like to hang out with my friends. How many friends you got? A thousand. <laughs> awesome, you're a likable guy. So uh, I got a question for you. We're here at the Very Airy Library and it's all about books. So I gotta ask you, what is your favorite book or book character? Uh, my favorite book is Wonder. Uh, it's about a kid named Augie and he's, he's in school and he has a facial deformity and he's kind of getting picked on because of it. Um, and it's about how he works through it. Man, I love that, I love that. It's okay to be different, right? And I right. think that's a little bit about what your book's about. So we'll get into that a little later. We're gonna start off with an icebreaker game. And then after that, we're gonna learn a little bit more about your book. And then we're gonna deposit it into the Eternal Library. Is it me guys? Or is it getting cold in here? I think it's time for an icebreaker. And you all know, every good game show has to have a wheel. And this one is mine. I call it the wheel. Very creative. Because it spins and it's a wheel. It makes sense. Never mind all that. Just give it a twirl and whatever it lands on, that's what you have to do. Thanks, Dagny. Are you ready to give it a spin, Riley? I'm ready. Go for it. Ooh, describe your most embarrassing dream. Ooh, let me go first. I love playing my own games. One time, I dreamt I was sitting in class. Then I realized I didn't have any pants on. <laughs> All right, your turn, Riley. Hmm, my most embarrassing dream. Okay, so there was one time I was running through the forest and I was being chased by this big old bear. He was like 10 feet tall. His name is Stan, but he had these tiny little chicken legs. And then I woke up. Sounds like it's more embarrassing dream for me. <laughs> Well done, Riley. I wish I had chicken legs. Of course, legs of any kind would be great. <laughs> now that the silliness is done, I have a few serious inquiries. Riley, I am the Codex, but you can call me Cody. While my colleague here supplies us with some visuals, I wonder if you might tell us a little bit about your book. Oh, who's your colleague? You. You're the colleague. Oh, me? Oh, Cody, I won't let you down. You're already letting me down. Just pull the book up and put it on your face. You got it. Not what I meant, but it'll do. When you're ready, Riley. So my book is about a bird named Nick. He's an ostrich. Ostriches can't fly. And he moves into this school uh, and he's the new bird. And he can't fly, so the other birds kind of make fun of him for it, and they kind of pick on him. And he has to figure out how he can seem cool to the other birds, even though he can't fly like the, uh, everybody else. Oh, and how did you come up with this idea? So what inspired me to write it is uh, because my brother Cameron, uh, he has autism. He's different too, kind of like Nick. And I wanted to write a story that people can relate to. Well said. Riley, that's an amazing story. A story that everyone needs to hear. Sounds like Philo. Hey, Riley, you know, as you may or may not know, <clears throat> I am a writer myself. Can I ask you a couple of questions? What is your favorite part of the writing process? My favorite part was drawing the pictures because me and my brother would do that and he would, uh, he would color it in sometimes and we both enjoyed that. Oh, 
That's a lovely answer. Okay, next question. What is the most challenging part of the process? The most challenging part was figuring out what's gonna happen next because anything's possible. Yeah, Riley, I can relate to that. When you're writing your story, there could be so many variations that you can go down and it could be very challenging. So definitely can relate to that. Thanks for answering my questions, Riley. But I gotta run before this place falls apart again. See you later, Philo. Bye, Philo. All right, Riley, before we put this book into the Eternal Library, will you leave some last words with our young story explorers out there? For sure. So if you feel like you're the one who's different, like Nick, I encourage you to just be yourself. Wow, that is great advice. Be yourself because everyone else is taken. Hey, are you ready to put this book into the Eternal Library? I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Commencing literary digestion process. It's pretty cool, right? Doesn't get old. Process complete. All right, that's it for today, fellow story explorers. Always remember to be kind and never judge a book or person by their cover. See you next time, friends. The New Bird is a selection from the Share Your Story writing program and published by Leap for Literacy. Visit startyourstories.com to see how you can participate.